Let's take a look at a little bit what's going on. In this video, we're going to be looking at the dollar cost average. I corrected myself and made a whole spreadsheet based on yesterday's performance. I wanted to make sure to clarify that. I also made additional spreadsheet for any one of my Patreon supporters to make it that much better and easier for you as well to keep track of your own dollar cost average strategy. So, Speaking of DCA, you know, we have got to talk about actually making sure that you are taking full advantage of DCA. Folks, I broke this down into a different little system here, and I tried going through and doing this math yesterday. And if you missed the stream yesterday, uh, be thankful, because it was a fun little thing where you tried doing math live on stream. And sometimes, I don't know why I tried, I was just like, I'm gonna do it! It's not a good idea to do live math on stream. So, I broke it down. I'm a big fan of making things into a spreadsheet, making sure that I can understand all of this. So I made in this into a spreadsheet. And folks, if you want to get access to this, link is down in the description below. Dollar cost average is a copy. You can go ahead and click it. It'll make a copy into your own spreadsheet should you want to adjust anything. Now, with that said, the only things you need to adjust in here are the light gray cells, okay? So let me go through and kind of show you some fun math on this as well. And this is gonna make so much more sense now that I actually have it into a spreadsheet form uh, instead of what I was trying to do yesterday. So again, if I break this down here, let's just say you bought $1,000 worth of hex at the original price of even an all-time high of 56 cents, okay? So if you had bought that, you would have gotten 1,786 coins as your initial investment. Maybe that was your first introduction into Hex and you bought at the peak. Well, let's assume that you stuck around, that you didn't sell, maybe you were waiting to buy back in, maybe that the price dropping was kind of showing that it's like, man, I don't know if I made the right choice, all that good stuff. Well, let's just say for fun that you bought another $1,000, and I'm just gonna do two cents as the level of support here, then the level right here would show that your average cost at this point in time would go down to 3.8 cents, which means that if you just did two purchases, of $2,000, one at the all-time high, one near the all-time low, or local low, should I say, not all-time, then, then you would actually average 0.3 or 3.8 cents as your average price for entry based on those two purchases alone. For only $2,000, you would end up accruing 51,786 hex, and the average price based on all of that would actually only be 3.8 cents. Now for all of those folks who are currently able to do something like that and they did continue to continue to purchase, well when you get into stuff like this and you start seeing the price end up being in this 7.5, 7.4 cent region, well you just made a double on your money even if this is you right here who just did this 3.8 as the average. You've already doubled you're already 2x up if you just average in. So the idea is that you do not miss out on averaging in. Let's just say that wasn't the case. Let's say you got $1,000 and maybe it was at 30 cents for example. And then you bought back in again at $1,000 and maybe you were actually able to again scoop some up around the 3 cent level. Well your average price is actually 5.4 cents. Once again you are already price positive on your investment. This is huge folks and when we reach 10 cents which is probably likely in the very near future you are actually uh, a complete double your money that you had even though you bought when the price was 30 cents. Averaging in is one of the best strategies that you can use to implement to make sure that you are continuing to make sure that you stay price positive. You can lower your average so much. And to anyone who wants access to this calculator, again, link is down in the description below. Click, at, cl click it, it'll pop up a little indicator saying do you wanna make a copy into your Google Sheets? Go ahead and do that and you'll get access to this. Now for the Patreon supporters who actually stuck around and support the channel, I made this little spreadsheet here for those Patreon supporters who have come through, supported myself, supported the channel, and continue to support me as well. So thank you so much to all of you beautiful people. However, this makes it to where you can actually open up an entire different strategy here. So you can have Pulse Chain, Hex, you can enter in multiple coins of your other coin here. And the idea is that you can actually go in and enter in all the prices that you bought when you first got it. So say for example, you bought $2,000 worth of Hex at 50 cents and I'm using all this for fun, just for ease of math. But then say, for example, you continue to buy in. Let me just kind of open this, oops. Let me scroll on down, okay, yeah, that was way too far. So if I go here and just say, hey, 
I want to still do an average of $1,000 and maybe you got in at 30 cents here, so you got some more. Well, let's say once again, you got in a little bit lower, even here, you go here and say, I got another $1,000 here that I was able to buy when the price was actually three cents. Well, now overall with those three investments, on average with your total cost only being $4,000, you took what was 50 cents as your initial average down to nine cents. And guys, you have to understand the power of averaging is huge. You get so much bang for your buck at these low prices that it offsets what you originally paid. And you can do this same thing to anyone who has access to the Patreon. You can go through and type in all of the entry points that you've ever had and figure out what exactly is your average. It is a phenomenal little tool that you can use. And I have this set up to go through with Pulse Chain, with PulseX. And again, access to this little spreadsheet is down in the description below. Hello. With that being said, if you do become a Patreon member, you also get access to this spreadsheet, which is the top 100 coins with live current prices showing up on that as well. I am still working on this particular page right now, but it has a buy and sell report and even a gains calculator here. So you can really find out what kind of gains you might be looking at it with this simple little investment and seeing how much gains could possibly turn into there in the near future. Along with that, you also get access to the profit taking strategy spreadsheet, which will actually show you a full strategy that I go through and break down and I'll be making a video as well for the patreon supporters to go through and explain how this chart works and it'll be much more easy to understand but guys this is a massive opportunity not only that you also get access to the live current price for where you, where pulse chain might end up launching at so currently if pulse chain was to launch today the current live data from Ethereum with price predi uh, prediction and with the Uniswap liquidity pools are showing that we'd be sitting at roughly about 0.001366 cents, which again is a 13.6x from sacrifice price. So hopefully y'all were able to track that. You also get access to the crypto millionaire spreadsheet and of course, a whole bunch of stuff for profit planning and a whole bunch of stuff as well so access to that is down in the description below to anyone who wants access to join but guys this is a phenomenal opportunity guys and averaging your investment is probably one of the best things that you can do for yourself for your wealth and for your future if you bought in when the price was above what it currently is at right now and as long as you still continue to average in that average price that you end up paying amongst all of the purchases lower significantly because you get so much bang for your buck now so essentially just for fun to kind of showcase something let's just say that you had forty thousand dollars back when the price was that you bought forty thousand dollars back when the price was 50 cents okay well even now all you have to do in order to essentially get 80,000 tokens, just to kind of break it down right here, is, is the fun math if here, if you actually end up doing 2,000 at 0.04 cents, oops, 0.02 cents, you know what I'm trying to say, 1,500, there you go, cool. So right there, your average with those two entries alone, a $40,000 purchase and a $1,500 purchase brings your average down to 26 cents and you actually end up getting almost the exact same amount of coins that you got when you made the purchase of $40,000 and you only got 80,000 hex. Well now you can do that same purchase with $15,000. We'll say 1750, I believe is the actual number. Okay, yeah, so I don't know the exact number here. I'm not, yeah, 1600, there you go, cool. 1600 gets you a nice $80,000 coins. What actually used to cost you $40,000 and this number is projected to again go up in price so averaging is probably the best thing you can do for yourself I wanted to share that information with everyone I wanted to clarify what I did yesterday with my winky little math and apologize to anyone who had to sit through that little fun math but again thanks so much to everyone who did stick around through that it was a fun little introduction there